everyone, it's Donna here, and I am back with part two of my Vintage Lace and Linens collection. Um, I'm trying something different again. I am trying to use the back camera so that I can kind of see a little bit uh, what's on the screen. Um, the only problem with that is I can't zoom in like I could with the front camera. So, uh, with that being said, let's see how this goes. I'm going to continue on going through my my box and you can see I didn't get very far in the last video and hopefully I can get through this without my dog barking because she's been kind of, there she goes <laughs> she's been kind of woofing woofing all morning she's hearing things um, this one here I had a lot of it and I kept a piece. I have some that I've been using and cutting up um, in my projects, but this one, I'm, there she goes. <laughs> I've been cutting up for my projects. Here's a little tiny piece. Oh, love that. Like a little, little applique. Here's a, a yoke. A yoke piece and I believe this is Irish lace if I'm not mistaken I love that antique color of it so so delicate I have a piece of of this lace very pretty very delicate this is another um, piece of a of a collar, I believe. And another piece of a collar. I <clears throat> I have lots of collar collar pieces. This has really heavy stitching right in the center. This one's very very different, very delicate. This is also a, a collar piece. So intricate. The stories they tell. Here's another, another collar piece. There's kind of tape, tape lace woven into it and embroidery. more than one. This is some really, really different lace. Has these open places. So pretty. I'm going to be saying that a lot. <laughs> this one is very delicate. I need to bring this box and show it to my mom. She she really, um, I've shown her pieces of it, but I've never shown her the whole, the whole box. Here's some very delicate tatting. Love tatting. This is part of a collar with some very heavy embroidery on it. This one is very unusual. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is the only one I have like this in my collection. It's got very detailed um, embroidery on it. I don't know what that belonged to. I have several little tiny, very intricate doilies. Look at that one. I've used that in my um, covers some of my journal covers before. I had quite a few of these. I put some into my into my collection. There's a little tiny one. And look at that one. Oh, so pretty. Here's one that looks like grape leaves. Grapes and and the leaves. I don't know what's there's something hard inside of those. Very different. Let's 
Look at this beautiful, beautiful lace. There's embroidery in there that's really, really thick and, and a little shiny. Beautiful. Love, love this one. This is one of my one of my all-time favorites. There's a piece that was very unusual, so I kept put a piece into my collection. Very different. There's another <clears throat> net lace and the end of it. Both ends look like that. So pretty. So delicate. Very, very lightweight. Oh, this one is gorgeous. I love it. Has a little bit of color in in spots. So pretty. And I'm sure that one is antique. Here's some more of that lace with the really heavy embroidery in spots. Um, Alison, I think that's a French lace. I'm only going to do a few, a few more in this video because I discovered the higher, the higher the resolution of the video, the longer it takes to process. Here's some more tatting. Beautiful, beautiful tatting with that caramel color. Little tatted doily. There's a collar. Very delicate. I wonder if, if I'm putting my hands behind it. Well, this mat isn't helping because it's the same color as, as the laces. I might put something different on my behind in on my table in the in the next video to see if I can get it. Look at this one. Oh, I love it. Anytime I get something that's unusual, different, I, I put a piece of it in in my in my collection. Okay, just one more. But it is really nice. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous lace. Oh, love it. And I get a pretty pretty big piece of that. So I might use a piece in something that I keep keep for myself. Okay. I made a little bit of a dent in the box. Um, so that's it for part two. I'm going to see how this uh, worked with the back ca camera, whether the quality of the video is, is less um, than using the front camera. But I do like being able to kind of see a little bit. I have to tilt my head down a little bit to see it, but I like being able to see see what I'm showing to make sure I'm in shot, even though I have my little marks on the table. So that's it for today. Bye for now. I'm using the wrong remote.